Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning back in. You know, I got back from Toledo Bend a couple of days ago and I'm kind of finalizing a few things in the boat. You know, I picked up my boat from the wrap guy uh, two or three days before I left for Toledo Bend. And those two or three days that I had after I picked up the wrap and before I left spent to getting a lot of the tackle and getting the boat prepped and put together the way I wanted it to. And then I headed off to Toledo Bend. I was there for a week or so, came back and uh, have a few extra things I got to do. You know, I went through the mail and I had some things like my Wisconsin state registration numbers and decals. So I applied those, had my trailer license plate. I just put those on. Uh, just some little things like that that I had to do that, you know, I couldn't really do because I didn't have them, but now I've got them. But one of the things that I got in the mail was this box right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite boxes I get each year, and that's my DuraSafe locks. You know, I talk about them quite a bit on the channel, but there's a lot of things that right here just make me feel so much more comfortable when I'm on the road. Uh, you know, when I was at Toledo Bend, we had really windy conditions the first couple days of practice. And what that meant I was doing was jumping from boat ramp to boat ramp because it was really hard to get around. Toledo Bend's one of those lakes that's 100 miles long uh, and you have to run in the boat lane. So if you get outside of those boat lanes, you're running through standing timber. And when the wind blows, it's a really rough ride to stay in those boat lanes. And from that standpoint, I was jumping from boat ramp to boat ramp to check out areas. Now, having done that, I can tell you some of the boat ramps I stayed in where I used for a period of time were pretty sketchy boat ramps. Uh, one of them was even just a dirt ramp where I was pretty much, it looked like the only boat that had used that ramp for quite some time. And I'm a little bit paranoid anytime I'm leaving my, my truck and trailer or boat in certain places that I'm not real comfortable with. And I'm not saying anything bad about Toledo Bend, had no issues there, but the reality is anytime you leave your vehicle parked in a place that is a low traffic area, it becomes a potential uh, victim of theft, right? So from that standpoint, anything I can do to help prevent that theft from happening makes me feel much better with when I'm on the road traveling. And in this case, because I picked my boat up right before I left for Toledo Bend, and I didn't have my locks yet, there were several things that I wasn't able really to secure the way I normally would have liked to have secured into place. And I got out of there, had no issues, but the reality is uh, if I can make it more difficult for a thief to break into my stuff or steal my stuff, I'm gonna try to do that. And that's where the DuraSafe locks come in. So I got the box, some of the things, and I'll walk you through some of the installation of the few things I can do right now, show you how easy it is. But some of the things like right here, these are the E-locks. You probably see these on most of the professional boats. These are simple uh, locks that lock your graphs into place. It's one of those things for me, like right now I don't have my graphs on the boat because they take them off when I do trailer long distances, but it just makes, makes life easy when you're you know traveling and you don't have to have the tarp on, which is why I take them off. But uh, from that standpoint, like if you go into a gas station, somebody's not going to swipe a graph real fast. Or maybe if you're staying at a hotel or a motel and you don't want to take the graphs off, these make it that much harder. And I'm not saying that they're going to prevent that fully, because if somebody wants to go in there with a sawzall and cut your whole dash off, they can definitely do it. But I'll tell you this, if you park next to another guy who has graphs that are not locked in place and yours are locked in place, Yours will not be the first one stolen. So I'm trying to make it more difficult. The e-locks are one of those things where if you're not using them, you really should figure out a way to lock your graphs or at least remove them. But that's just one thing. Here then we've also got this guy right here. This is just a receiver lock and a coupler lock. Uh, as I've talked about on the channel before, I've heard of lots of instances where people are having their trailers stolen at boat ramps. And the thing is you can lock the trailer to the ball but if you don't lock the bolt to the truck, they can remove that as well. So from that standpoint, you want to lock on both sides, both on the truck side as well as the trailer side. That's where this comes into place. We've got here my, uh, my Lowrance Ghost trolling motor lock to keep somebody from really stealing the entire trolling motor off the front of the boat. We've got here, this is just one of the, uh, the, just the cable locks in case I want to lock some other stuff into place. We've got a swing away trailer tongue lock. 
Uh, surprisingly, oftentimes people steal the pin that goes into a swing away trailer. And sometimes I don't necessarily think they're stealing it because that's like a valuable piece of equipment to have. Sometimes I think people do it just to kind of sabotage other people. You know, I've heard stories, I think going back, like uh, you hear stories about people sometimes loosening lug nuts or removing pins. And if you remove a, a swing away trailer pin, it can lead to some really serious issues on the road or if it breaks and from that standpoint. But the key here is why give somebody that opportunity? So I'm gonna lock that in place. Uh, and then this one too, this is a really good one as well. This is a spare tire lock. That's a that's something just to lock your spare tire into place because the reality is that's something very easy for somebody to remove and has a pretty good value to it if somebody takes it off. Uh, so those are some of the locks that I got. One of the best parts about the DuraSafe locks, because they are made here in the USA, specifically not too far from me in Wisconsin, they can key these all alike. So if you order off their website, you can literally have all of these locks with one key. So when I pull out my big clunky keychain already, I don't have to have six or seven locks. I can pull out this key right here, and that does all the damage. E-locks, trolling motor lock, the locks to my, the trailer and the truck with the, it, just everything I want here can be key to like, which makes it so much more efficient and keeps me from having to have a whole pile of keys and just a big cluster. But let's, uh, I'm going to attach a couple of these, just show you how simple it is. And uh, the other ones, I'm sure like the E-locks you'll see me using throughout the year. And I can show you how to attach those when I'm putting my graphs on it, maybe the next event down on Sandy Cooper. So let's, uh, let's put the trolling motor lock on first. So this is a really easy lock to put in. All we're gonna do is remove this nut right here and then the lock itself replaces that nut. So I'm gonna just remove that. Okay. And then at this point, I put the lock in the unlock position and I'm gonna hand screw that in remove the key right now so it's in the unlocked position we're just going to hand tight this there we go okay it's tight so then at this point we're just going to put the key back in clockwise so we basically we just put it in the lock position so now the head of the lock spins and I cannot loosen that nut at all. So if somebody wanted to try to take these nuts off to remove the whole trolling motor itself, they can't do it. So that lock is on. All right, so this is the swing away tongue lock. I'm gonna remove my standard pin that comes with the trailer. And that's what allows me to swing the trailer tongue in. I'm gonna take the DuraSafe lock. I'm gonna insert it. up. I'm going to take the cotter pin that comes with it, put that into place, and then I'm going to take my lock. So it, it's the same key I just used on the trolling motor. I'm going to unlock, put over the top, lock, put my cap down. And you can see from that standpoint, that lock is on there. It's not going anywhere. It's got the cotter pin to be a safety net in case for some reason the lock did come off or you accidentally did not unlock it. And there we go. That's our lock. Good to go. Okay, so most trailers then come with a pin that's just a coupler lock. So when you put it on your trailer, you slide the pin through and that prevents you from pulling up to unlock the coupler. Now in this case, that's not really a good lock. It keeps the trailer on the truck, but that's it. So I'm gonna take the DuraSafe coupler lock, slide the pin through, then take the headpiece, see if I can do this with one hand, snap that into place. I need to have it in the unlocked position. Snap it in, I'm gonna hold the head, unlock it. 
pull the pin out or the key, same key I've used on the other ones. Lock is on there, cover it up. So now the coupler lock is in place and your trailer is stuck to your truck. Well, there you have it. I just showed you how easy and fast it was to secure three of the DuraSafe locks. I've got a handful more that I'll put in place and I'll show you how to do those in future videos. Uh, but it's really very, very nice to be able to secure our valuables, make it harder on the thieves to try to steal our stuff. And from that standpoint, I highly recommend the DuraSafe locks and I highly recommend if you purchase multiple of them, get them keyed alike. And if you already have DuraSafe locks, you can request DuraSafe to use uh, the same key that you have on the ones that you own for the new locks that you're buying. So you can contact them. Uh, I'll put the link for their website in the video description for you. That's the best way to go ahead getting everything key to like to make sure that there are no uh, errors or mishaps and you make sure all the locks are the same. But it's a really, really nice thing to be able to uh, have all my locks have the same key. It just makes it much more efficient on me, harder on the thieves, and that's the main point here. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow.